Good afternoon, uh, ZBest Hardwood. My name is Greg, and I help local businesses, contractors, roofers, plumbers, HVAC, find more customers by being on the front page of Google. Now, I took a look at your website, and I'm going to give you some suggestions as to what you need to do to get on the front page of Google to get a whole, whole lot more business coming in, customers finding you. So as a quick overview, your website currently only gets 46 visits a month which is not really a lot versus one of your competitors who's on the top page of Google, getting almost 4,000 uh, visitors a month. Now that's a lot of business that they are generating there. Now I'm not saying that we could get 4,000 visitors a month, but we could certainly double, triple or quadruple the number of visitors you are currently getting for you to turn into customers. So I'm gonna take a look at your website here. Uh, by way of overview, um, you wanna to get to the top of Google. Um, at least the first page and the top half of the first page. That's where 95% of all the search volume is. And the reason you want to be in, uh, on the top of Google is because anyone who is starting uh, to research a high ticket item uh, purchase, like a new floor or a new roof, are going to do their research and they're going to find the best possible vendor for them, usually in Google. Okay, So there are three areas that I'm going to touch on as I speak to you about suggestions for ranking your website. Number one, content. That's the words and images on your uh, on your pages, the quality and quantity. Number two, backlinks. The number of times another website links to your website. That builds trust with Google. Number three, what we call citations. Any mention of your business name, address, and phone number anywhere on an online directory, which helps you get here into the maps section. Let's talk about content first. So here I am looking at your website. Uh, it's a it's a uh, Squarespace website, um, and uh, what we care about here, or rather, what what uh, Google cares about here, are words, uh, quality, and quantity. So, from a quantity point of view, it's really important that we're writing at least one uh, fifteen hundred to two thousand words on the homepage, and at least five hundred words per services page in the background. Now, your website does have six thousand words, which is good. Um, there are a couple of sections here where I think you're a little short, um, so we want to look at that. Uh, uh, look at this content. Uh, uh, for example, residential hardwood floor. Uh, this is a gallery. Um, perhaps want to be about 500 words. Um, the reason why this is really important is because number one, authority. When Google sees that you're able to write lots of words about what you do, they will assume that you know what you're talking about, and that makes you an authority in this area. Google feels comfortable putting your website then on the first page of Google. Reason number two, relevance. If you've written a lot of words about your services, then somewhere in those words, Google assumes are the answers that their customers are searching for. So we want to get um, <clears throat> make sure your content volume is optimized. But for, for the second reason, quality, when we optimize your content, we want to make sure that there are the correct words written throughout your website. By correct words, I mean as follows. This here is a keyword phrase. That is a phrase that anyone looking for hardwood floors in Los Angeles would use to start their search for a potential contractor. Uh, it is what I call a buyer intent location-based keyword. Your customers are in Los Angeles, therefore they are looking for a contractor in Los Angeles for trust and relevance. And maybe more specifically than Los Angeles, which is a very big city, they may they may be a bit more targeted. For example, hardwood floors Manhattan Beach, hardwood floors Los Feliz, hardwood floors Hollywood, etc. So uh, from a quality point of view, we want to figure out what are the best 20 or 30 of these phrases to write into your content. I'm going to have a look here and show you what is happening in the back end of your website from a uh, keyword phrase point of view. Now, um, these are the keyword phrases that Google has read and understood of your business. Okay, starting with wood gym floor, which is good, but it's not location specific. So um, we may not find uh, Los, Angeles, Los Angeles based customers finding you. It might be nationwide, which is a waste. Here is a good one, Los Angeles hardwood floors. Um, further on down, now we're on the second page of Google, uh, wood floor finishing, Los Angeles. 
uh, Nike, uh, flooring companies, Los Angeles, Wood Floors, Los Angeles. This is a great one. 20, 250 people searching for this a month. Now, for these phrases, you are now all the way on the second down to the third page of Google. So there is a great opportunity here for, for us to pick out the best of these keywords, rewrite your content to get you ranked to the top for all this search volume. That's number one. Let's look at what your competition is doing. They have 1,200 keywords, that's a lot. But let's see what they're doing here. They're doing a great job of picking out these location-based buyer and tech keywords. Hardware floors, Santa Monica. Hardware floors, Los Angeles. Hardware floor in Los Angeles, California. Wood flooring, Los Angeles, etc. So they are doing what we would need to do. Okay. The second thing that we need to do uh, to rank your website up for all of these keywords that are currently on the second, third page of Google is now what we are talking about backlinks. Backlinks is any time that a, another website links to your website and it gives you a trust score. So you currently have 38 other websites linking to your website, uh, which is pretty good. However, I am assuming that these are not very high quality backlinks. That is to say that they are not well trusted by Google or they're not relevant to your business because the resulting trust score that you have for your website is only 1.2%. That's very low. Um, look at Pacific Hardwood Flooring. They have a 21% trust score. So we are gonna, what we would aim to do here for you, figure out the best backlinks, um, <clears throat> strip out the ones that you are that are pulling you backwards and add new backlinks to drive up your trust score. The more Google trusts you, the more they are able to rank you on the first page of Google. That's the second suggestion, backlinks. The third suggestion, which would help you win this maps section here, as you can see for this particular search, Pacific Hardwood have the top of the maps section and the top of organic search. In order to get you here into the maps section, which is a very quick and easy way to start the phone ringing, for potential customers is citations. That is any mention of your business name, address, and phone number on an online directory. Now, the strategy here is to figure out how many these top three have, how many um, citations they have, and we would beat that number starting with 200 out of the gate. That's enough to get you uh, starting to rank up here into the first page of Google, okay? So here in summary, I'm going to tell you that you only have 46 visitors to your website a month on average, not very much, versus a competitor who is at the top getting almost 4,000. Now, somewhere in the middle there, we can get you at least double, triple or quadruple what you're currently seeing to grow your business significantly. And it comes down to content, backlinks and citations. So I'm going to send this video to you. I hope that it's of interest. I hope that it adds value. And I'd be more than happy to speak to anyone there if there are any further questions uh, and if you would like any further guidance as to how to get this work done. Thank you very much. Much appreciated.